Анастасия спрашивает. Hello, Ксения Евгеньевна. After a long exploration of the website Black Magic and Runes, I understood that the bridegroom rite essentially means that she would bind a spirit to a person, meaning any spirit that happened to respond to the invocation, not even knowing whether it would be dangerous or not. Are witches really that reckless to run such a huge risk? Good question. Let's first speak of the rite itself for those not familiar with it. The bridegroom rite is a protection rite, performed through lodging a spirit or lodging a demon, as it is called in black magic. And usually it is performed only on women, for absolutely understandable reasons, as it would serve only one single objective – protection. As you understand, nobody opts for such a solution out of an excessively good life or out of boredom. As a matter of fact, people mostly come to witchcraft, talking really come to witchcraft, not because of a good life. It happens when all existing arguments to consolidate or somehow manifest one's own rights here have been exhausted. When a person has been insulted and offended to such a degree that she understands that nobody, no one in this world, not a living nor dead soul, will ever provide her help or protection. It is the last stage of despair, when you have to choose either the demons or the hang rope. Only someone who has experienced this has the right to judge. But your perplexity is understandable, so we will clarify it. The bridegroom protection is very powerful. It is a really powerful protection. It is like, as the name itself describes it, a marriage between a woman and another worldly force. Not even a marriage, but a union in terms of obligations. As if a woman gave commitment to a man and a man gave commitment to a woman. An engagement is the best way to call it, probably. Meaning that it is not yet a family, but something similar. When no one else could any longer receive from the woman the same commitment as the bridegroom has. And in this case, the bridegroom is another worldly force. And yes, the woman really has no clue who she is invoking, unless the rite is performed by a very venerable witch who understands what force she is summoning and what sort of obligations one will need to fulfill in relation to this force. And if you read, again our colleague referred to the website Black Magic and Runes, you will see that there are many comments and many stories, real stories, of people who perform this rite and have received specific effects from it. They doubtlessly are all different. Some have managed to build a relationship with the lodged force in such a way that it did not disturb their love life, for example, and only requested certain offerings, gifts. By the way, the requested offering in this instance is always in one's own blood. The rite itself is based on the sacrifice of one's own blood, a kind of blood betrothal in a way. And then there are those who would permanently lose the possibility as well as the ability to have a partner, but received protection in exchange, an incredible and total inviolability, safety from people, systems, from other people's sorcery, from all kinds of bloodline curses. It happens sometimes that a person, a woman in this case, has such a collection hanging on her that, well, it is impossible to live with, rejected by her own kin, as well as by the kin of her men, with children who are just as damned as she is. Where should she go? To a monastery? Pray it all away? Well, some do go to the monastery, but some choose this path here. And who will dare 
to say that a woman has no right to this. A woman, quite honestly, has a right to everything, including establishing relations with whomever she sees fit. Therefore, amid all initial horror of this right, it is, by the way, an extremely easy one. It is just truly frightening by its irreversibility. It is a one-way ticket. And all in all, People who haven't reached the very edge of despair would never go for it. Whereas when a person stands on the edge, having to choose between performing this right or the news, and chooses the option of the right, who will ever blame them? Will anyone dare? I doubt it.